like everyone's really sad. I've never seen such a miserable looking group. They've completely lost morale. I guess this is the end of the Pursuit Squad. This is seriously messed up. Well, we can't just sit here and cry. We're gonna have to find a way to get back up on our feet. But we should wait and see what the commander has to say. Is Kiara? You don't reek of booze today. Why is that? Jeez, kid. You make me sound like an alky. Well, when the going gets tough, you're usually drinking. <laughs> she hit the nail on the head. Although anyone would be driven to drink after hearing the declaration of the Grand Order. Every flame haze around the world heard what that despicable bastard had to say. Which means they're probably in the same shape as everyone here, utterly depressed. It's gonna be hard to go back into battle, knowing that's the case. I have faith in you. I know it's rough. I felt the same way once, but I'm here today because I refuse to give up. Please don't be sad. As long as you stay positive, you'll inspire the others to cheer up. That's our little Kiara, always looking on the bright side. I wish we could say the same for her mentors. Are you going to keep fighting? I'm in, but Sally's gonna need a stiff drink. Shut up. Sure, I might as well. Not like I was destined to be a flame haze that was forced into a contract. So I guess that Grand Order crap shouldn't affect me. Do you read me, Sally? Kiara? Just in the nick of time. Please don't tell me these are all the troops we have left, Francois. Oh, no, ma'am. Many of our allies are still in the mountains. They've completely splintered off and refused to regroup. I'm afraid we're going to have to abandon our original plan. Seriously? You mean we aren't going to head towards Heaven's Road Palace? No. We are not. In other words, those of us whose thoughts are not clouded by depression have a greater responsibility than retreating. That is correct. We shall halt our enemy pursuit and focus our efforts on getting our less fortunate allies to Heaven's Road Palace safely. I gotta say, it's gonna be tough to pull that off. Supreme Commander, it would be a grave mistake to lead them straight to the palace. The enemy would undoubtedly learn of its location. They'll never find it. I have some tricks up my sleeve. We all do, but it makes no difference at this point. The reality of the situation is we simply do not have the manpower necessary to take action. I know, but we must save as many lives as we can. Pardon me. I hate to interrupt, but may I say something? What about the enemy forces on the plains? They've been eliminated. The few survivors managed to flee into the mountains. Hmm. Attention pursuit squads! Expand your search radius to include the mountains. Your primary target is the enemy's mobile fortress, Heaven's Road Palace. They were clearly headed east before they scattered. After mulling over their choice of direction, I came to a realization. The only explanation is there must have been something there that was meant to aid in their escape. And you think it was the palace? I have ordered our reinforcements in the north and south to surround the mountains at a distance. They're in hiding now, but we'll draw them out eventually. Hmm. Is that snow? No, it's rain. My burning field has been rendered powerless. Stay strong. You mustn't give up the fight. You 
see that tower? I want you to keep running until you reach it. There you will find a means of escape. I found them! <laughs> Over there! Attack, men! This is the power of Tololo, the transformation of energy. Like a beacon of light piercing the darkness, you must persevere against your foes. A flame haze remembers the sorrows of the past, but always looks to the future. Allied forces are currently headed towards the tower, sir, and the rain has blocked all long-distance communication. My burning field has been disabled as well. We know the tower's a decoy, yet we've no way of stopping them. Perhaps this was their plan all along. Send a messenger to the rear forces telling them to hold their position. Contact the advancing squads and order them to withdraw. If our encirclement collapses... Now we've got you. If you make an attempt to advance, we will indeed stop you. Have they come to draw me out? If that's the case... How could you let the Pursuit Squad walk right into their trap, Commander? It's the General! He has decided to show himself. A thousand changes. See you tonight. He has arrived, apparently. Keep going, you guys! We haven't much time. Hurry, comrades. Into the tower. Watch out! Ah, the beckoner of Bright and Dew and the guardian of Steady Passage have made our job in this operation quite easy. You care to tell me how exactly? Ah, uh, we just have to wait here. <gasps> and we'll have an unlimited supply of things to destroy. <laughs> now I get it. Uh, it's unscathed. No, fire now! We made them believe the tower's a decoy, but we're actually gathering our forces here in order to carry out our true objective. Yes, we are relying on a tactician's greatest trick, the manipulation of perceived reality. I bet you weren't expecting me to show up, were you? To be honest, I've grown tired of the games, ladies. I tried to play nice. But if there's one thing you're good at, it's making me angry. <laughs> I'll take care of these two, Commander. While I do that, please try to get our surrounding forces under control. Yes, sir. Now then, the Master's never given an order that would prohibit me from killing you. What a shame for you. Philomena! Right behind you, my lady. Forces within the encirclement are now safe. Thanks to your plan to draw the enemy here, the process went much faster than anticipated. That's good news, but it wouldn't have been possible without your help. Gentlemen, this is not the time to rejoice, for there is still more work to be done. True. The worst is yet to come. 
I hope we can make this work. Me too. There are so many lives on the line. What's the matter, hero of the Great War? Blazing-eyed hunter? I thought the two of you were going to present a challenge. Good, I was hoping you'd do that. Okay, now we're talking. I was wondering when you'd take off the kid gloves and fight. Consider this your last warning. Do not attack unless you're prepared to burn to death amidst the flames. You have been warned. That's quite a threat. You really think you can kill me? We'll see about that. Interesting. Their attacks aren't nearly as vicious as their threat. And why do they keep returning to the same positions? Take it down! You heard him! All troops, fire away! fight for what I care about. Now here I am, centuries later, still fighting for the same cause. But this time, no one is forcing my hand. I chose to fight this battle. served its purpose, which means Heaven's Road Palace is probably already gone. Even though I know the retreating soldiers are injured and likely won't have any effect on the battle, I still don't want them getting away. One of the four gods of the Earth. This should be fun. I hate to interrupt, but may I say something? After much deliberation, the Beckoner of Brighton Dew has finally reached a decision. We will join you, our fellow Flame Haze, in battle. He who walks with rain speaks not only for himself, but the other three gods of the Earth. He came to this decision after hearing the snake of the festival's declaration. What did he say that got to you? He claimed that creating a new world would not have an adverse effect on this one. I remember many centuries ago, our wise former teacher, known as the Heart of the Sky, shared something with us that unfortunately most Flame Haze do not know. The cause of the storm in the rift which foretells the great disaster. Basically, the devouring of human souls by crimson denizens creates an unstable energy that is called the power of existence. Each time this happens, the world shakes. Eventually, these small vibrations combine to form waves which then grow to become a storm. If the god of creation takes his crimson denizens to the new world he creates, the Earth will regain its lost power of existence and the storm that has been brewing in the rift will subside. Yes, but if they don't change their ways and they act in the new world as they did here, it's a matter of time until disaster strikes. That's true. However, if that were to happen, it wouldn't have any effect on the people in this world. Now, I am sure you're asking yourselves why we four gods chose to join your fight against the god of creation it's because just like the crimson world 
the new one that is created will affect this world which you are charged with protecting. That's right. As the four gods of the Earth, it is our duty to uphold the natural order. And right now, it is being threatened by the Snake of the Festival. If you'll agree to fight alongside us, we'll do everything in our power to ensure that your army makes it onto the next battlefield. Well, Shauna, will you fight? move into that area, they suddenly cease their assault. And whenever I attack in this direction, they dash to block it. They must be hiding something. Could it be Heaven's Road Palace that they're trying to protect? They led us to believe it had already left, but it was hidden here all along. I'm stronger now. Tell me, how long do you think your spell will hold him? All we need is ten minutes, and the beckoner of Brighton Dew could come with us. While I appreciate your concern for my well-being, you must remember that greediness is not a quality befitting a true god. If I undo the Talalaka now, it would be disastrous. Without it, the enemy would surely realize that Heaven's Road Palace is right within their reach. It is necessary to cover your tracks so they cannot figure out where you've gone. Therefore, I will stay and keep it flowing. I am simply following the plan that we agreed upon. You mustn't waste precious time worrying about us or the Guardian of Steady Passage who faces the enemy army alone. We are aware of the fate that awaits us. Time is running out. Even as we speak, please hurry. Well, ladies, we better get going. Our ride should be coming for us any minute. <laughs> Whoa! He's already breaking through? You thought a simple spell was strong enough to hold me? Give me a break. You'll have to do better than that. I get it. You're staying behind to help them escape. You'll distract me with a fight and keep the Tlalican going as long as you're able. Is that the game, old man? Let me guess. The real Heaven's Road Palace is long gone. So one of the four gods of the Earth is willing to die. Yes. I will fight until I've used the last of my power. Because now I know I'm fighting for the right cause. Thousand changes you see tonight. We would be honored if you would fight against us in our last battle. You're going to attack me regardless of how I respond, aren't you? death's door once again. It's no different than when I was human, except that this is exactly where I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sir Nitra, my dear comrade, thank you for renewing my existence with your contract and allowing me to fight with you. My pleasure, comrade. For six centuries, I have ruled the day our contract would end, Samuel Demantius. Well, old friend, I'm afraid that time is upon us. Does this mean that you are going to die? It certainly looks that way. <laughs> but I don't think it means as much the second time around. In that case, I bid you farewell. I shall return to the Crimson World until my next battle begins. Good luck to you, my comrade, Sir Nitra. I thank you for your service and your friendship, Samuel Demantius. Do not fret. There is no one who could have done more than you, Thousand Changes, Sidonay. Besides, we are in no position to mourn an unexpected defeat right now. Yes, sir. Tell me, Belpeol, do you know when my body will be stable enough to move? Stabilization is now at 50%. But please bear in mind, we have other tasks to complete, so it may be a while before we can leave. Excellent. I cannot wait to leave this place, once and for all. Using Heaven's Road Palace to transport all of our defeated troops through the enemy's endless sea of soldiers would have been impossible. Instead, we dug a pit large enough to hold the palace and buried it into the earth. Tlaloc then summoned greenery to conceal the freshly turned soil. The troops were ordered to enter the tower Sorotsi constructed. Once everyone was accounted for, they were led here via an underground passage. The Guardian of Steady Passage acted as a decoy and defended the tower, while the Chanter of Elegies made the enemy believe a fake was hidden nearby, and the Beckoner of Brighton Dew functioned as a rear guard. We've lost the battle. Though we gave it our all, we're left with nothing. But we're still alive. Every Flame Haze here is lucky. They will live to see another day. That is the one bright spot in this tragedy. I will fight. That is good news indeed. I knew it could count on you to fight alongside me because you are the contractor of a true god. Do me a favor, Bright Flame. Give the other three gods of the Earth, my fellow priests, a message on my behalf. My friends, I have become a drop of rain. I sacrifice myself in the hopes of forcing you to act. So please believe me when I say... Joining the Flame Haze in their fight is without doubt the right choice to make. After suffering an agonizing defeat, Shauna and the others are left shaken and confused. Should they face Balmasque again? Is the creation of Xanadu right or wrong? Next time on Shakugan no Shauna Final, to battle once more.